So one of the key things we need to understand is what is the geology and the safety and the suitability of the rock, particularly in the subsurface and at depth. We need to understand, is there a presence of any hydrocarbon resources? What the presence of groundwater is and what are the characteristics of that groundwater? We need to put all of that information together to have a holistic understanding of the safety and suitability of the potential repository site. The target depth of the boreholes in South Bruce is 900 meters below surface. The size of the core recovered during drilling is 83 millimeters, or three and a quarter inches in diameter. We expect borehole drilling and testing to take around nine months. The actual termination depth will depend on the conditions encountered. The sites once prepared will be 50 by 100 meters, around the size of about three NHL ice rinks. Drilling program is designed to protect aquifers and groundwater through the installation of a steel casing, which is cemented into the bedrock from the surface down to a depth of say 200 meters or more. So the idea of this, this casing is to uh, isolate the shallow groundwaters from deeper groundwater and also from uh, surface waters. While drilling the boreholes, water will be brought from offsite and recirculated to reduce the impact of the environment. All wastes such as drill cuttings and drill water will be taken off-site and disposed of by a licensed contractor in accordance with all local and provincial regulations. So one of the methods we have is through groundwater sampling. This analysis would give us an idea is, is the water fresh? Is it saline? Are they different at different depths? And this kind of helps us piece together the characteristics and the history of the groundwater. Uh, so one of the key next steps is for us to work with our drilling contractor to finalise our data, to ensure all of the laboratory analyses of core samples and groundwater samples have been sent to the laboratories, they've completed their analyses and their results have been sent back to the NWMO. All the data will be reviewed and then analysed and eventually integrated by various um, specialists within the Nuclear Waste Management Organisation. So this will involve uh, geoscientists, um, environmental scientists, safety assessment and engineering to kind of integrate all of that information into a more holistic understanding of the subset. Also, a key part of that process is to ensure that all of our information has kind of gone through an expert uh, external peer review group. And one of the key next steps, which is very important to us, is sharing that information with your community.